All right, let's take a look here. It's uh, the last drill of today's practice. So the uh, middles are starting to the far left or the far right and closing in between the uh, in between the noodles here. Let's see, runs up first. Not bad here. Let's see it. Good first steps. Good first step. Big first, big second. There we go. Even the second step. If you look at Roan, this goes for all middles. That second step with his left is really good. The knee kind of comes out. You can see it extending. It's really planting in. He's really got a lot of... There we go. You really have to take that drastic step. He instantly, quickly reaches. He's reaching quickly quickly instantly into that seam which is good left hand is good because the left hand is straight so he's reaching into that seam and he's dragging that hand making that nice little drag so that way in case he hits pretty cross court turning a little bit off his body just a little bit there you can see I mean it's just such a minor detail blocking is one of the hardest skills just because of this it's you can almost be there 99% of the time you can do it right and then all of a sudden it's just that little turn right there that screws everything up. If that left hand had been dragging you would have gotten him pretty good. But I mean it's a small little mistake. And ball comes back on our side. Let's see Carter's on the left side over here. Let's look at Carter. Carter's over there. Get a little bit lower here. You're kind of standing up. There's not a lot of dropping your center weight. Drop your center. So you look at, I think that's Kyle. Look at Kyle. He's low and loaded. Look at the difference between Kyle and you. You're kind of stiff-legged and up. Kyle's ready. Roan's ready down low. Hands are really, really close together. Even Kyle, your hands are really, really close together. That's like the old two by four right there. You should be able to at least six inches in between your thumbs. At least six inches in between your thumbs. Not a lot of guys will go up and hit true field goal on you. This is just not this is just not taking up very much space here. It's not a whole lot of space you're taking up. The guy's trying to hit into you, obviously, but. Try to get those hands a little wider. All right, so Emmett here. Emmett's feet. It's a good little approach. Okay, you're in sequence. Good. Try to get there. Try to get that right foot fast. This is number one no-no is right here. Don't face the hitter like that. You got to turn your body around and then back, kind of like this. So if you're facing like this here, you're facing the hitter, even if they do block the ball with your hands, even if you do block the ball with your hands, the ball is going to get hit like this and then ricochet right back that direction out of bounds. That's what he would like. So you have to fight gravity and get around that ball. Get around it. Get your hand in that seam and then kind of push it back to the middle of the court. This right here is just going to basically just going to ricochet right off and go out of bounds. So even if you do touch this ball, this ball is going to get hit right off this hand and then go right back in the air right out of bounds for their point don't go high you want to fill this is the whole point of this drill the whole point of this drill is to fill this ball right here that's why you're that's why this hand should be here and this hand should be here or here basically i'm kind of trying to get the outside of your hands to touch both noodles here both people the hands are too close together It's double ping pong paddles. Look at that. Double ping pong paddles. 
ping pong, ping pong. That's Gavin over there. Look at that, Gavin. Look at that hand. Look at that right hand. Get through that noodle. Go forward. Press forward through that thing. Not, don't go over it. Emmett going way too high. You're supposed to fill this seam. This is the seam right here where people are hitting. It never gets filled. Your right hand will block this ball. So ideally, this hand, left hand, right hand, like that. So if you're right here, filling the circle seam, left hand gets there, right hand gets the yellow in case he does go cross court. So you're filling, and then right hand right where you should be. Right where he hits it. Literally, if he hits that post thing, if he hits the post, Lindles, you should have just crushed that ball. Crushed that ball. But we're doing the old diver. He's an Olympic diver and ping pong player. Ping pong and diving. All right.